Hello everyone. We are talking allergies and reactions, bad reactions to different foods, different supplements, different herbs, you know, allergies to pollen and stuff like that. So three main causes of allergies and bad reactions. Number one, toxins. Second, a clogged liver. Oops, I just used this, sorry. And then third, <laughs> sorry. And then third, um, parasitic infections, okay? So we are going to discuss solutions at the end. But let me give you an example of the three of those issues. Number one, when I was little, I suffered with colitis and parasitic infections. Colitis, parasite infections are connected. My mom, I remember, she fed me milk, but it was pasteurized milk. So I had a lot of pain in my gut, uh, a lot of reactions. She felt so bad for me, but she didn't know any better. That milk she fed me was dead milk, broken food. Why? Because there is no enzymes, no nutrients, and no good bacteria. However, when I would visit my parents, my grand, I'm sorry, my grandparents, my grandma would feed me raw milk. So I remember the cows. I remember the milk from the cows that I, would, I, I just love them, okay? And, uh, and I would see them every day, uh, raised on pasture with good food. And of course, the raw milk, uh, had its, it was high in enzymes, great for digestion, high in good bacteria that would kill the bad bacteria, the bad parasites in the gut and then high nutrition, nutrients. So of course, the raw milk that grandma fed me made me feel so much better, while the other milk that was pasteurized and uh, my mom would fed me was giving me those allergic reactions. So here, the, the idea is that toxins in the food would give you reactions, especially if your body is toxic. In my case, I was full of parasitic infections, okay? So number one, you have to look at the toxins that you're putting in the body. One food can heal, the other one can kill, but it's not the same food. You have to do your research and research where is the food coming from, okay? This is super important. Second, liver. If the liver is toxic, if the liver is overburdened, you might have some allergies, you might develop some allergies. My husband, for many years, had allergies to pollen. When the season, the spring season would come, he would sneeze, he would whiz, he would have like red eyes, it was annoying. We embarked on a journey of detoxification. We took it very seriously because we wanted to heal our bodies and get rid of toxins. So we went on a spiritual journey. So uh, we detox our liver uh, with proper foods. We did a soup for a couple of weeks with a group of friends. So we, had a, we have to build a very strong mindset in order to stay with the soup for two weeks. And then we have to detox our emotions. Because if you know about Chinese medicine, a liver that is toxic, uh, it's connected with emotions like anger, frustration, unexpressed anger or suppressed anger, irritation, and they weaken the liver. So the entire liver has to be detoxed and cleansed holistically. You have to address emotions. By the way, 50% of any healing, it's emotional healing. You have to address spiritual healing and you have to have a strong mindset and then uh, get rid of the toxins physically, okay? And that's very important. So liver is number one. Third, parasitic infections. And I'm going to give another example. Uh, when I was, I remember that I had, I remember, I know that I had a lot of heavy metals toxicity to the point that I could not move my neck for one year. I was poisoned with mercury. And I attempted to remove heavy metals and I remember that I was using um, zeolite and chlorella, which are binders, supplements. And I would have such a bad, bad reaction to the point that I had very bad headaches and migraines. And I would feel really, really funky when I would take just one zeolite 
or one chlorella. Chlorella and zeolites are binders. They're supposed to ex escort toxins out of your body. I would be very uh, reactive to those two binders. When I detox my liver and I cleanse parasitic infections deeper, on deeper, level, deeper levels, I noticed that the same supplements, chlorella and zeolites, would not give me any reaction whatsoever, whatsoever. So there were the, exactly the same supplements. So it made me think, oh my goodness, what in the world is happening here? What happened? I got rid of parasites, but when I got rid of parasites, parasites and heavy metals are connected. Parasites are the largest organisms in the body and they uh, have a layer of protection. They create this layer of protection, which is called biofilm. And in that biofilm, they will have a lot of toxins, uh, a lot of heavy metals, glyphosates, insecticides, you name it. Also, bad bacteria, fungus, candida, uh, bad viruses, bad bacteria, all live together. When I cleanse these parasitic infections, I got rid of everything. That's why I got rid of heavy metals so fast. And when I was using binders like zeolite and chlorella, they would not give me any reaction. Okay? So these three things, if you have allergies or if you're reactive to different foods, because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm reacting. What about oxalates? What about high uh, antihistamines? Or uh, histamines? Or a lot of things. I'm allergic to cilantro. I'm allergic to bell peppers. I'm allergic. Everybody's allergic to things. You have to, number one, get rid of toxins as much as you can. You have to do homework here. I'm not going to say, okay, you take a, a pill, a blue pill, red pill, whatever you want to take, and then you cut corners. It's, there is no such thing like that. I wish it would. No, the world is toxic. We live in a world that is very polluted. You have to do whatever it takes to get rid of toxins. In your food, you have to do your research. Where is the food coming from? Very important. You have to do research about your food. And the best thing to do is eat organic as much as you can. Eat in season as much as you can. Go to farmer's markets and ask them, where is the food coming from? Is genetically modified? Uh, what kind of water do you use? then go to orchards, go to the farms that are growing their foods organically, without pesticides, without chemicals, without uh, genetically modified seeds. Make sure that they do not spray. So you got to do your research because toxins these days, the number of toxic, the toxins of these days is ridiculous. They're ridiculous. So you have to make sure that you are eating good foods. Also, make sure that you're clean, cleaning your house and make sure that your shampoo is less toxins or no toxins, your conditioner, your toothpaste, your makeup, your body wash, your laundry detergent, um, everything. You have to do your, your homework, okay? Now, don't get to the point that you become paranoid because that's not good. You're going to get stressed out and we don't want that. But make sure that every single day you take one step at a time, okay? Without overwhelming your your system. Second, you have to cleanse your liver. This is extremely important. If the liver is clogged, if the liver is toxic, if the liver is overwhelmed, then it's going to recirculate the toxins and the toxins may end up in other organs. They create damage in other organs and we don't, we don't want that. We need a clean liver. This is very important. Make sure that you drink plenty of water. Make sure that you drink or um, Green tea is great for cleansing the liver. Foods that are high in sulforaphane, it cleanses the liver. I'm going to link another video with foods that are great for liver and how to detox your liver. So two videos. Third, we are bombarded, bombarded also of, uh, with parasitic infections these days. A lot of people are complaining of candida and bad viruses, we know, and bad bacteria, fungus. They all connected with parasitic infections. Once we get rid of parasitic infections, then we get rid of the other things and heavy metals or other co-infections. Parasites are no joke, okay? I'm going to link another video about that. So you need to 
eat foods that are killing the parasites, you need good bacteria in the body, like fermented foods, so they destroy the parasites. Because what's going on in our gut, it's in our body in general, but mostly in our gut. It's a continuous battle between the good bacteria and the bad guys, the parasites, parasitic infections. All we need to do is feed the good bacteria. And it's important to have fermented foods. It's important to have a strong uh, acidic, you know, strong stomach. That means that we have enough acidity in the stomach. So I have uh, different videos for how to kill parasites, how to eradicate parasites, as well as how to keep, um, to increase um, stomach acidity, okay? So that being said, toxins, remove them. Make sure that you detox your liver and get rid of parasitic infections. This is very important, okay? I'm Lily and I have detox uh, courses. We discuss about toxins, how to get rid of toxins. It's a five-day challenge. Uh, we brainwash the system and the body how to eat properly and get rid of toxic stuff, garbage foods. Um, I have another detox course, uh, how to cleanse the liver, to detox the liver safely and very efficient, like fast, okay? Because um, liver cleanses very, very fast. It's the fastest organ that detoxifies also, so that's amazing. And then third, uh, looking at parasitic infections and how to get rid of parasitic infections. It's going to take a while because parasites are very stubborn, very smart, very intelligent, and we need cycles. We need cycles. We need to rotate foods and herbs and methods. Otherwise, parasites get used to these foods, methods, and so on. I'm Lily, and I wish you good luck and blessings, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Cheers to your health.